Hi, this is Andy from Flip Pop. Welcome or welcome back to my latest furniture flip. Today I'm flipping my old sofa. It was given to me by an old colleague over 15 years ago and it's still standing. It is made of synthetic leather and its burgundy color is dated, but you know I like it because it is still very good and has been with me through many years of my life. I would hate to change it. As you can see, it has many stains. But I will fix that. And I love it because it's so comfy. First, I have to clean the piece. I'll use some lacquer thinner to remove any furniture products that I have used through all these years. I used some steel wool to remove any stubborn stain. Then I rinsed everything with a wet rag. I then started scuff sanding lightly with this fine sanding mesh in order to prepare the fabric to receive the paint. Then it was time to get the paint from my super lockers. I'm using Angelo's acrylic leather paint in navy blue. The instruction said that you can apply it with a brush or a sponge. So I'll start with the sponge, because I feel I can have more control over the way the paint is applied. I love this color, and the paint doesn't have any smell. I thought it was going to have some VOC, but nothing. The sponge was definitely not the best method. This paint feels like latex, so the sponge is not a good option after all. Milo trying to stay fresh in this really hot weather. The next day I started painting with a brush I got from the dollar store. And this is an effective way. Look at the coverage! This color is so pretty, I am in love. Don't forget to like and subscribe! At first, I was concerned about brush strokes, but this paint is self-leveling. You just have to follow an imaginary grain and paint it in the same direction. Although that may not be necessary, I just felt I had to. I'd like to thank everybody who has invited me a coffee via the Buy Me A Coffee app or through my Amazon wishlist or via the Super Thanks button 
all your support helps creating content enormously. You can also consider becoming a member of the channel and get access to special videos, posts and more. What a rich color! It looks quite vibrant here, but it will dry to a dark hue. Now it was time to focus my attention on the cushions. I'll place two on my foldable tables and two on the stools outside. Some magic to protect my floors and my Milo comes to give me love. I saw somewhere on YouTube a trick to get rid of holes in leather sofas. You pour some super glue in the hole or tear and then sand with a high grit. This produces some leather dust that adheres to the super glue and the hole or tear disappears. Wonderful! I love painting, it is so relaxing. Goodbye stains, these cushions look like new. I'll give this side two coats and then I'll flip and continue with the other side. While that coat dries, it was time to give the piece a second coat. Painting the other side was a breeze. Three days later, when everything was okay, it was time to seal the sofa with Odie's oil. This product can be used on leather. I'm using it because although it was dry to the touch, it felt sticky. Synthetic leather is sticky, but this was too much. So I cleaned it because it was attracting too much dust and then applied Odie's oil with circular movements. The idea is to apply the product and leave it there for an hour and then come and buff it with a microfiber cloth. The stickiness disappeared and it didn't attract so much dust. Well, here was my old and dirty but loved sofa. And here it is now! It looks so beautiful! Milo and I love it. 
and I will continue enjoying it for many more years. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.